morning everyone guess who had a shower this morning <laughs> i literally just stood there and i was like oh my goodness <laughs> i used all of my favorite products as well and if you're looking at me thinking lydia do you know what you are glowing it's because i have done a full fake tan from head to toe i even gently buffed into my new chest area <laughs> which was lovely a little bit sore and still a little bit bruised but it's absolutely fine i've been trying on loads of new in pieces this morning but that is not what is happening in this video today today i'm actually heading to london i am going in to london and i'm staying overnight in london which is obviously giving me anxiety <laughs> i have my step step cousin or step auntie step step somebody <laughs> um who is looking after um the house whilst we're in london um it's only for the night which is obviously um simple i get to pack quite light as well the reason why we're staying down is because i have an event this evening which is such a lovely event like i this is literally like my dream it is basically the launch event for the new hydrofacial flagship oh <gasps> too exciting i have been the biggest fan of hydrofacial for like years like literally years and it's funny because i went one day and i had loads of different like facials in one go but the hydrofacial was like the one that i have religiously stuck at doing it's not like the kind of facial where you go and you have like facial massage or something like that this is like a a medical kind of um grade facial where they suck all of the badness out but you also have like um a lactic peel and they flush your skin and it's just it is you literally feel like you've been given the best cleanse resurface and like hydration of your life so much so that carrie's been wanting to have one for ages she just recently had one and ali is now like completely hooked on them as well and i just see the best results you don't have any downtime from it as well which i really love and um, there's no peeling there's nothing like that and it's just really good for your skin i always feel like my skin just comes alive afterwards really great for like the day of an event i would have mine like the morning of an event to have like beautiful skin for the for the evening of the event but anyway so they've got a flagship now in london i'll put all of the details about where the flagship is and where you can book in um to have your treatments and i think you'll also be able to find where like locally does the treatments for you as well so if you wanted to to get one done locally then that's fine i'm not working with them on this video by the way but um i am working with them on the event so i'm heading there um, today we're staying at the Langham, which I don't think I've ever stayed at the Langham. I've been there for dinner and I've been there for drinks, but I have never stayed. And so I'm really, really excited about this. I'm staying overnight because then the next day I have a day of meetings. I think I'm meeting saint -Tropez. And then the other one is with um, a PR who I used to work with at like Armani and lots of other places as well. And so we're gonna go and see her as well. So we, we've got, um, lots to do lots to get around and just good to be spending a little bit of time in london as well even though it's just going to be awful all i want to do is come home and go to bed and then go into london just so i can see them because i just miss all of the fluffs all of the time so anyway i need to pack and i also need to decide what i'm wearing tonight so i have a bit of a conundrum with my outfit for tonight so the, the theme is la nights and I don't want to be too dressy because it's not like we're going to, to like, an, like a restaurant or anything. It's at the flagship store. So I don't want to turn up and be too dressy. And so I have two options and I'm kind of screwed with both of them because one of them is the Zimmerman two piece that I had, which was like that really lovely uh, sunset color. I thought literally LA nights, that just looks like an LA sunset. The only issue is I obviously wouldn't be able to wear a bra and my, my consultant has said it's actually fine for me to go braless now. Like he, one of the things that he advised me was like, try not to get into the habit of wearing like push up bras. Like it's really just like a bra should just sort of like be quite soft around them and not too restrictive. You don't want to be pushing on them and tightening them. So um, yes, he's encouraged me to free the nipple a little bit more, but I don't know if I'm quite ready yet. I still, there's still quite a bit of sensitivity and things like that. So I don't know if I'd be able to do that. And with that top, I wouldn't be able to wear that. And then I have this really beautiful, I think it's my Alame dress, which is this one. And I love this 
Um, I bought this sort of the end of last summer, I think. Actually, no, I think I bought it in the winter, which I thought that this was quite lovely. It's a nice sort of maxi length to the floor. The only issue with this is I have a cut out mid drift. And so I'm thinking that my bruises are gonna be on show. Now the thing is, is I don't mind. Like bruises and things like that to me don't bother me. But everyone else has been saying to me like, oh gosh, hopefully they go for your holiday. I don't mind. Like things like that don't bother me at all, but I feel like it bothers other people more than it bothers me. And so I think I'm probably just gonna go with, I'm gonna try them both on and you can let me know in the comments which one you think I should wear, even though this will be going out afterwards and I would have already worn it, but still, it would be nice to know which one you preferred. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that on, but that is something that I like, I found very interesting because I remember when I had um, the gua sha on my neck and I was like, people were like, oh gosh, you know, you, you're gonna want that to have gone before Christmas. I'm like, I don't mind. Like, it's not like I did it to myself. Like, it's not, it's just there, it's just happened. So, you know, it's just, it's there. <laughs> I can't do anything about it. So if someone was to say to me like, oh, what are the bruises from? I'd be like, well, I got into a fight with Mike Tyson and he lost, but I got these bruises. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna try these on and you can let me know what you think basically. And then I need to pack and then we're gonna head out. You can tell I'm in a good mood because the sun is shining so beautifully. I'm looking forward to a weekend of just spending time outdoors, um, going to the garden center and just having a lovely, lovely weekend. I'm really, really looking forward to it. Hopefully there'll be some rosé in there as well. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> okay, this is the Zimmerman set on and I definitely think it, it meets the brief for LA nights, but I just feel like it might be a bit much, like just because it's not like a, I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like if I was to pull up outside and be like, hi, it's not like high summer, is it? So I can't put a coat over the top of this. So I might get quite cold and, but then I feel like, am I gonna get there and people are gonna be really dressed up and I'm gonna wish I wore this. <laughs> oh, I just don't know. Oh, isn't it gorgeous though? This is gonna be so lovely to wear in summer. I just love those ruffles so much. I do love a ruffle. Okay, winner. <laughs> I put this on and it doesn't show my bruises anyway. So it's absolutely fine. And it doesn't show the fact that I'm wearing a surgical bra either. So it's, yeah, I think that this is probably the safest option and I'll feel most comfortable going down to London in this because we're going straight from here to the event. And so I think that we have a winner in this anyway, and I'll be comfortable, covered, and yet feel like I've made a nice effort. It may not have like such a distinctive fit of the um, theme, but it feels quite beach vibes, quite relaxed, it's linen. I'm reaching here, but I think it works. <laughs> right, I'm going to quickly get changed out of this and head down for my meeting with Karen Millen. We are touching base on samples for this season and also um, I think next season as well. So um, I have to go and set up camp in the office and I will see you guys in a bit. I am totally showing you some sample sneak peeks and I am packing these to wear for my meetings tomorrow. I don't even care. I could get in so much trouble for this, but I just, usually I'm not allowed to wear the samples. Well, I don't know if I'm allowed, but I don't care. I'm gonna wear them. <laughs> it's because we haven't shot them yet, so obviously if I ruin it, then I'm in really big trouble, but I want to wear them. This is just the most perfect mid-axi brodery dress with the gorgeous bodice detailing done to absolute perfection. This is the dream, oh my gosh. <laughs> Leather skirts need pulling into be the old scar to do the high waist is needing nipped in all over. Um, if they couldn't nip it in, then we were moving it. We were also going to move it to an A-line, not a straight midi skirt, as long as the if you couldn't pull it into the original old style sizing. Um, change to pattern ref for slide 43. Deeper, richer colour. Shorts tan. change waist to the same as the skirt. Yeah, changing the shorts to the same waist as the skirt. Leather taping to hide the seams for the fitting. Plain waistband but thicker plain panel and A-line on the short hem. It should be high waist but just not the paper bag waist where it comes higher than the belt. And then the skirt was supposed to be in line with the original um, moto, like the, um, the leather skirt that I have 
that we took back from the archives of Karen Millen. But I'm sure you'll pull it off. Honestly, the stuff that you've done this time, it, I, every time, even with the dresses that we did on the last one, when you show me them, I'm like, I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Yes. Seen those ones. Yeah, yeah. Now. Very, very cool. Really looking lovely. So we were really happy with those. Yeah, super happy. Well, it's lovely to see you both. I hope you enjoy the sunshine. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Too. Take care. Take care. Bye. 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 You too. Bye. 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 My belts from Net-a-Porter have arrived as well. So I'm going to get these unboxed because... So I had to get them in two different sizes. Oh, it's very pink. Very, very pink but I think that I'll wear this quite a lot. So I think I had to get the pink in the 70 and that's what I have my gold one in. So I have my gold one in the 70 and then I have my silver one in the 65 and I got the white one in the 65 this time and the pink in the 70. So it's a bit bigger, but I even think with like dresses like this, rather than the black belt. This won't look so harsh. Does it go with this? It's a bit pinkier. It's a bit pinkier. All I'm thinking about at the moment is a, um, mm. well, I think that that's definitely gonna be worn in my wardrobe anyway, because I love the color. And then the white, and I would not usually get a white belt, but again, with white dresses so that it's not so harsh. I just find this dress, this, this belt goes with everything. And because it's got the silver hardware, I can wear it with my mini Kelly absolutely fine. Maybe you think I'm nuts, who knows, but I just wear this belt so much. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping it. It's ridiculous, but I love it. Obviously not with this dress, but for summer, these are gonna be game changing. Everything is game changing. <laughs> Grayson. Oh my gosh. Go team. Mon dieu. Yeah, mon dieu. Oh, mon dieu. We are in the taxi. <laughs> we are on our way to the Langham. We have been, oh, that's my chest there. You don't need that up close and personal. Not just yet, anyway. <laughs> to take me out for dinner first. <laughs> um, <laughs> we've just been on the train down to, to London and obviously Carrie is um, helping me with my suitcase because I'm not supposed to lift it and I feel really bad because there's obviously lots of people and like imagine if someone was like oh yeah there's that Lydia Millen making her manager carry a suitcase for her but she's like well people just oh, <laughs> people just don't know do they and it does make you realize how like sort of frustrating and like what like subliminally how much you worry about that kind of thing and how it must be frustrating for people you know like when they have like what you were saying about the um like invisible illnesses yeah. that like stop them from doing something that must be really frustrating when you're like oh god I just almost want to have like a banner being like no like I've just had surgery so I can imagine that there are people out there that probably feel the same where they're like no you know I can't do this or blah 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 this is my invisible thing and you just want people to use their noggin but I'm, I'm sure nobody was judging me for not picking up my suitcase but still I was like oh, I feel really bad <laughs> but anyway we are um heading to the Langham now and it is a lovely sunny evening in London and I am so excited to see what this hotel is like because I'm pretty sure that Ali's parents have stayed here as well and I think they liked it I might be wrong I think they liked it <laughs> Oh wow, beautiful lifts. I love all the bot like, botanicals on them. Oh. oh my goodness, it smells like I'm on holiday. Right, we are now getting ready for the evening and I'm about to do Carrie Grayson's makeup. As per usual, I'm honorary uh, makeup doer. Not makeup artist, makeup doer. Has a better ring to it. <laughs> Making a tower. <laughs> oh, my. oh, that does not look great. <laughs> This is my, my tripod for the evening. Perfect, perfect, safety first. Oh, I have also realized that I forgot my pajamas, which was absolutely fantastic, which means I'm going nipples to the wind. <laughs> and Carrie can sleep on the floor. No, I'm joking. I've got some pants and a cami that I can use, so I'm gonna prop you up there. 
Bring me the wall paint. Right. Why do you want me here? Yes. Oh. Where is your foundation? Oh, it's in there somewhere. Actually, I'll probably put this over me. <laughs> Okey dokey. Hockey cocky. Right. Put your hair back. It is amazing, this stuff, isn't it? Mm. I love it. Mm. I go back to it all the time. Because it just, when it goes onto your skin, it just looks really dewy, mm. but it's got really good coverage and it just, I don't know what it is that they've done, but like... But it's buildable without looking heavy. Yeah. Well. So when I do it like, in the day, if mm. I don't wear tinted moisturiser, it still looks like no makeup, mm. but then you don't need foundation still to go out because you can just build it out, like you said. Mm. What I think I'm going to try with your schnoot today to stop it what I've noticed about your makeup on your nose is your nose is where you get oiliest mm -hmm. and then your makeup moves around on your nose so I'm going to try powdering your nose to see if it makes it stay better. Good job. Banana lay lighter? Indeed. Do you work for Nicholson's? That's what Steve from Nicholson's always says indeed. Does he? It's a, it's a proper Cotswolds thing. People from the Cotswolds all say indeed. I didn't know that. I'm very interested in the fact that you've got ready first and then you're having your makeup done. Because if I spill anything on your top. Don't do it deliberately to make me wear the dress. I'm not going to do it deliberately. Not that much of a f***ing savage. Not that much of a savage. Road sweeping my eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> Road sweeping. <laughs> Oh, this is where I'm forced to use Carrie's awful brushes. Oh, Carrie, can you get my makeup? They're a good one, they're the little Mercier ones. Yeah, but they're not the right, that's not, that's a good powder brush, that's not a good bronzer oh, brush. Oh, I've got that one as well. Yeah. No. This is not it. No, can you go get me my makeup back? Where is it? In my, in my, um... <laughs> in my suitcase. I love how when I sent you outfit images last night, you were like, oh, you're going dressy, dressy. Mm -hmm. And then I see your Jimmy Choo's in there. That's because I have to wear Jimmy Choo's with that. If I wear those, that's only because for the um, trousers and the oh, shirt, okay. because it's um, length. because of the length of it. I can feel my cheeks flapping. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you have one of those facials and they go, and you're like, oh my god, my face, my face is making such a weird noise. I was thinking more like cock a spaniel out the window of me. <laughs> yeah. Car. How about this one? This is where I need to make sure my stuff goes back in my bag. Listen. I'm listening. You're just having fun stabbing me now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> this is like, um, I'm like an artist. Your palette. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> um. Create your masterpiece. I intend to. I am the next Monet. Did he pay people? No, he did. Lilies, didn't he? And lilies. Mm. That withstands the sebum. <laughs> that sounds so gross. <laughs> Yeti Queen! <laughs> I definitely just gobbed on that. Covid what? You might as well have just gone. <laughs> On my face. <laughs> Always fascinates me when you do my makeup. Why? Because it's already been about 40 times longer than <laughs> I do my whole face in. I mean, I know it, you can tell, but. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, joking. Right. Okie dokie. Now we need to. Look at me! Thank you. Brow. No. Not brows. Blush. I have blush. Blush brush? 
I don't even ask. And it actually looks natural. Did you ask me to do your makeup? Or did you ask me to punch you in the face? I mean, I basically have both. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, Lily. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. I am. I am. <laughs> 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 Just checking my fans, they're still there. They're definitely more your fans than mine. Yes, that's why they come back every single week. <laughs> yeah, they do. They're yeah. like, where's Carrie? I'm like, listen, this is the Lydia show. It is the I'm Lydia like, you know show. What? No, do you just take over. In fact, you're vlogging tonight, okay? You're vlogging. Let's see how much oh, footage we get God. if Carrie vlogs. <laughs> I mean, it'll be shaky as anything. Wunderbar. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Perfect. Oh, that is. Have you been using that on your eyes? Mm. Like that? That's where I get told off, isn't it? Yes. Shoving your pencil eyeliner on a blunt eye, eye pencil. It's like trying to have sex with a floppy willy. Well, that's never fun. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 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 uh, so you've tried it. Oh dear. That is quite the comparison, though, isn't it? Well, You'll remember it though, won't you? Next time you're, you're putting your blunt pencil onto your eyelid, I, I hope everyone else thinks of that every time they do that, to make sure that they are sharpening their eye pencils. Come here. That wasn't even words. <laughs> so, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. No, but you can do your mascara, or shall I do your lips and then you can go do your mascara. Now let's see the state of your lip pencil, shall we? Caroline Grayson. That's not bad. Not too bad. Not as bad as Floppy Willy. This is how you go through them so fast. Yes, because you need to have a sharp pencil, otherwise... Well, you know what otherwise? Just like you with the end of a... <laughs> 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 I don't know what you were doing there. You're knocking a nail into it. Uh, we won't put that on the vlog what I was doing there. Okay. <laughs> My favourite bit is always lining your lips because you feel like I'm lining like on your chin, chin and you yeah. just go... It's horrible. It does feel like you're just drawing across my face. Ah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Ah. The sound helps. Mm. That basically felt like you were drawing in my nostril. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lips and eyes. You do you, boo. Uh, that's yours. That's that mine. is mine. That's, this is yours. Thanks, Jake. What? Oh. oh my goodness. I'm too long for this. Right. Now for me to get myself ready. <gasps> I didn't go with either of the options that I showed you today. Instead, I thought, what a perfect opportunity to represent in my rose print. I know this is completely sold out, but. I just feel like in this outfit, I'm like, I look smart, but also dressy. And it works really well for, well, I personally think it works well for um, events like this where I don't really know what to wear. However, I think other people look at me and they're like, wow, she looks dressy, but I don't feel dressy, <laughs> which is really funny. But anyway, I feel comfortable like this. So that's, that's basically what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm nicely covered up, nice trousers on, and I've got a vest underneath as well. The only thing that I'm worrying about is obviously this is my first event and I'm a few, well, just over a week 
uh, post operation I'm worried that I'm going to see people that I know and unknowingly they'll go in for a hug and obviously I'm covered in stitches and bruises and I'm going to have to be really rude and be like oh my god I'm so sorry I can't hug you because I'm sore because I've literally not hugged anyone I've not hugged anyone oh my gosh I've not hugged anyone for such a long time <laughs> but yeah so that's just worrying me a little bit but Carrie has said that um if anyone comes near near me with arms outstretched she's going to be like no you don't touch <laughs> I'm going to be one of those people that has like a ride away like you don't look them in the eyes you don't hug them <laughs> no I'm not but it is one of the things that I'm just kind of like Ooh, in my head but we're going in about 10 minutes so I'm very much looking forward to getting to the flagship Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. First in person again. Oh my gosh, I feel so nervous. This is so weird. I don't know why I feel so nervous. <laughs> Hydrofacial, which is very exciting. You can come here and get a complimentary hydrofacial. And I mean just one. Yeah. Don't think you can come back the week after and get a free one. One free one in this beautiful store. happy face what a lovely evening sadly I could not talk to you at all when I was at the event because um, they were playing pretty much the soundtrack of my youth like if Craig David sang it or Artful Dodger mixed it it was played and Alicia Dixon was there as well and she honestly she made me laugh so much you know when there's like someone that just is so uninhibited and they just say things and I I think I did a story on my Instagram where I was literally like <laughs> but I had the most wonderful evening you know when you like meet so many people that you would just never meet or I feel like I would never meet but I've been following them and seeing them on Instagram for such a long time like I met Evie for the first time ever I think I've shared Evie on my platform so many times she is honestly one of the most incredible skincare creators online at the moment basically if she if she says it's good I'm buying it that's what that's my motto in life and so I got to spend time with her I also met Lydia which was just obviously a dream meeting someone with the same name as you and then Ola oh my gosh I, I said it on my Instagram because I shared a picture of me and him together but he literally walked in to the room and I think I watched about six people magnetically pull towards him and I was like wow that person has some serious serious energy and just chatting to him I was like I could just talk to you all day literally I could just talk to you all day <laughs> so we got a picture together as well and obviously this is all in aid of the launch of hydrofacial but do you know when you, you're just at, a, at an event where it's just lovely and you just get to talk and have a lovely time and then we left and came back to the hotel and oh I nearly dropped you then and and we had a little drink downstairs in the bar because there's one thing I have been to the Langham before they've got really really lovely bars and restaurants here so we stopped off and had a drink downstairs and now we are up in the room and I'm in my dressing gown I haven't taken my makeup off yet but Carrie is ahead of me taking off her makeup and obviously I forgot my pajamas so this is my pajamas of the night this um, dressing gown and then I've got some pants on <laughs> but we have meetings in the morning so um, we can't be too late but we're not going out out if that's any consolation 
We're not going to. What was that place that we went to in Camden that time, Carrie? Shaka Zulu. Shaka Zulu. We so should have gone to Shaka Zulu. <laughs> On a Tuesday? Oh yeah, you've kept saying it's a Tuesday and I keep thinking it's a... Oh, I have no idea what day it is. Carrie? Yeah? Carrie? Yeah? <laughs> We're well, watching you wash your face. I missed you with your foamy face. I'm a foamy face. <laughs> we also walked into the room and there was lovely classical music playing and we were like, oh. It's actually a really, really lovely room. We're in a deluxe room at the Langham and it doesn't have the best view. Like, I, that's one thing I will say. It doesn't have the best view. But the room itself, such a nice amount of space. The wardrobe space is so good. Nice mini bar area and it's such a beautiful bathroom as well. And so it kind of ticks all the boxes. I said to Carrie, I was like, if we ever need to come into London and just stay for a quick one-nighter, this is a really, really great option where I think that it's like, all that you need, but also a nice vibe as well. So anyway, I'm gonna get myself ready for bed. I'm gonna get all of this glowiness off my face. And I think we've got, well, we were going to order chamomile teas, but the only thing that we have noticed is our phone might not work. So it's one of us going down in our pajamas <laughs> to the front desk to be like, can I get a chamomile tea, please? You having fun there? So itchy. You just sat there rubbing your boobs, love. Also, I keep saying to people, I'm like, I've got eight incisions and stitches. That is a lie. I've got ten. But I've got two incisions on my nipples. Lucky nipples. No. Literally, I've, I've never had so many incisions. No, but seriously, they're starting to... You know when something starts to heal and they just start to itch? Is that where you are right I'm now? I'm at that point. I mean, you did. I picked up the camera when you'd spent a solid three minutes just rubbing your boobs. Mm. All right. Over and out. Morning! Wait! Wait! <laughs> I'm ready for this! Oh, that. Is that you? Wait, hold on. Is this you telling me? You would like me to get up so we could have breakfast? Yes. Or are you going to have it without me? I might have it without you because I've been up for two hours. Come on. Well then, Adia. You want to go shopping? I do want to go shopping, I do. Vamos. Do you know what? I never shop. <laughs> no, that's that's so true, Mel. I mean, if only if only there was a platform on the internet where like people watch people shop and they made a living out of it. <laughs> I wonder what that would be. I wonder who would who would ever make a living out of doing something like that. You did. <laughs> We've got coffee, orange juice, a basket of flaky pastry goodness, which I don't know whether I'm going to have any this morning. I'm not sure because I've got some lovely porridge and I'm going to mix it with raspberry jam. The one thing that I actually think is a superior porridge uh, companion is compote and you can't find I remember saying to Ali once oh I really want some compote and he didn't know what it was but it's what my grandpa always used to have for his breakfast and I didn't realize that compote is not easy to find like you can't get it anywhere it's easy to make of course it is you know that wouldn't you what can I make it with all your berries a little bit of sugar and a saucepan that's it Ooh, so I can make homemade compote for my porridge oh <gasps> okay that's that is going down well can you keep it in the fridge very happy about that. I'm going to try that. This dress definitely didn't get the love that it deserved yesterday and the sun is shining in London today. It's really bizarre because we're kind of facing a courtyard and um, it looks like it's actually overcast outside but I poked my head out and it's just there's no sun actually hitting in this courtyard and it looks like it's a bright and sunny day and I've got three meetings today from one o'clock which is really really good. They're going a bit later today. We're meeting Saint-Tropez, Arden, and um, Declio and so I've got the morning to do a little bit of shopping and I'm going to go and look at a bag in one place but I also hopefully if I can come across a Celine shop I um, I really want to go in and have a look. I've actually bought... Really? Yeah. What's new? Oh well just in case. 
you know, just in case we spot one. <laughs> but I bought a, um, a really lovely Celine, like, bralette kind of thing and I'm not usually like a bralette type of person but this one had a lovely nautical vibe to it so it had stripes and then it says Celine on the band and I have to say Celine is a brand that I really really like quite a lot of the pieces from obviously you know I've got my Celine tote bag for summer and I think they do a lot of really lovely classic styles and their stripes are something that I really really like so they've, they've also got this lovely knitted bandeau which is um, very kind of like nautical vibes I did try and buy that because I saw it on Swoon Loves I saw it on one of her reels and I was like oh I really really like that it's like a knitted bandeau and you could wear it with like white linen trousers tan accessories and it would be really really lovely so if I can go into a Celine store I'd really really like to do that I'm up this morning freshly washed and wearing my Alame dress it should be lovely and sunny and I know that I always like probably go a little bit too OTT when I dress in London but first of all I always like when I'm meeting clients and stuff like that I want to make a good impression and second of all I just I don't know maybe it's just me but it's always good manners isn't it I like to put my best foot forward and I was saying to Carrie yesterday, I don't want to get to the end of the summer and wish that I, more, I wore more pretty dresses when it was warmer, just because I was worried that maybe some people would be in coats or something like that. No, I want to get to the end of this summer and be able to be like, I rocked all of my dresses in the lovely weather that we had. So that is my, my sort of ethos for this summer. I want to get the most wear out of all of the, all of the things that make me feel most fabulous. However, saying that, it might get cold and then I might regret this because I'm literally wearing sliders. I don't have my warm vest on underneath because this has a little nice slither of a cutout. So I don't have that on, sadly. So I might get cold, but I'll look nice and I'll be cold. <laughs> anyway, we are going to head out now. We're going to check out, but we're going to leave our bags here and head and do a little bit of shopping. So just to show you my full length outfit, I do look like I'm on holiday, but I don't care. This is the dress that I bought a few months ago and I'm wearing it with my tan. Birkin 30 and some tan little sliders from Hermes as well. And that's the look. Carrie and I are just on Bond Street and we've spotted the most beautiful shop with these stunning prints. Well, they're probably not prints and I dread to think what the price is. But look how gorgeous everything is, those old books with the little seedlings in them. Oh. We are just tootling down Bond Street. We're gonna go and try and find the Celine store. And then I think for the first time ever, I might go to the Zimmerman store as well. Um, because I've actually never been to a just Zimmerman store. So that is the first port of call as well. And I'll show you anything that I buy, obviously when I get home later on this evening. Ah, we found Celine, perfect. Every time Carrie and I drive past this pub, we just talk about how much we love it because just in the middle of all of these like luxury stores and things like that, there's just this gorgeous old traditional pub like that. It looks absolutely beautiful just nestled in between all of this. But we are heading to the Zimmerman store on, I don't know what this road is called, but I always drive past it and I never ever get the chance to go in. I think it's down here. We are just in Zimmerman and I've picked up this gorgeous dress. Carrie picked it up actually, she saw it first. Doing a little bit of shopping in here. Who remembers when I did a lovely event here at the House of Elemis? Oh my gosh, so many years ago, but this is still such a beautiful little, little muse down here, isn't it? love it but we've just finished up at the Zimmerman store and I picked up a really really beautiful dress so I'll show you that when I get home oh wow how gorgeous is that wow it's like little flowers everywhere <laughs> we're now heading to our first meeting so um I think it's with Sandra Pay so we're gonna sit down and have some lunch finally which is good So we have finished up our first meeting with saint -Tropez. We are now heading to uh, Soho House, Greek Street, which we're hoping to get, I think, a rooftop table, but I've stupidly swollen up now around my chest area, so I'm a bit uncomfortable in the fact that I'm like in quite a tight dress 
and um, yeah, I'm hoping this is gonna stop soon because it's very uncomfortable when it happens. Obviously, I won't be filming much when we are at Soho House, so we'll see how we get on, but it's just a lovely day in the sunshine, which I'm enjoying. So we are finishing up a day of meetings with many bags and we are actually just trying to logistically work out. Yeah, you got that one's dark, but. Actually, that's heavy. Well, I can't work out that one of these bags has weights in them, which actually I genuinely tried to buy these weights on Cole Beauty and I, I, they, they sold out instantly. You put, no, you put it on your YouTube video. Yeah, like, I did. Oh, yeah, the and uh, they didn't come. But anyway, we've got so many bags, and obviously, I'm not supposed to be carrying anything. So we're we're trying to logistically work out how this actually happens. <laughs> there's a there's a lot of bags, a lot of bags. But we're gonna make it happen, and we're gonna get home. It's fine. There's some fun stuff in here. I've not even told you about what's in here. I couldn't even film where I went. <laughs> and I couldn't even talk about it on the street, could I? Oh. I didn't want you to talk about it. No. So basically, I bought a handbag today. And it was really funny because I messaged them on Instagram. And I was like, I'm really interested in this, this very, very particular bag. And I thought I would just be able to walk into their store and just look at it. But I went to their... They were like, yeah, 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 pop in, that's fine. And I popped in and they were like, oh, no, you have to come to the vault. And I was like, oh, interesting. And so we walked like fair way and we went to the vault and it was everything, absolutely everything. But as a customer, I wanted of that experience, but we'll talk about it tomorrow when I've like unboxed it and stuff with you. But yeah. And when she's not had so much wine. I mean, I've not had nearly as much wine as you. We've had the same amount of wine. We like, haven't. Just put... We definitely haven't. <laughs> I've definitely not had as much wine as you. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. <laughs> I'm now in bed and I'm very tired. It was a long old day, but a lovely day, so I'm not moaning, but oh my goodness. I am going to insert a clip of what I returned home to. So when no one's in the house because our house sitter had left the boys are in the kitchen i walked up to the house to them like running free in the house and um every ounce of cat food that was laid out for lumi was gone and i had two very round cat food filled sausage dogs when i returned home and they were just hilarious like they just couldn't understand why they were in trouble because they just had a whale of a time. They are such funny dogs. But I'm now in bed with this one. Just settled her down and she's very, very happy about it. And I had the loveliest day. Oh, you know when just, it's just so nice. Like I obviously had my meeting with saint Pay, and saint Pay is obviously a brand that I've worked with for, I think it's five or six, six years we were just talking about like all of the different stages in that like what they were looking to educate people on when we first started working together versus what they're doing now and it was just really really nice and then I met the Arden girls and they're always just the loveliest and we talk so openly which is lovely and then I met Charlotte Fielder who is just the like she's just a tonic like she's so hilarious and just so funny, but also really like honest as well. And so when you talk to her, you get a real kind of sense that it's a lovely space to sort of talk. There's no, there's no kind of like muddy water. She'll tell you how it is. And I, I find it's really refreshing to speak so openly with people and just, yeah, it's just lovely, really lovely day of meetings and shopping. I picked up two very 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 lovely items a dress and a handbag and i'm gonna probably open them both with you tomorrow i am gonna go to bed now because i'm quite tired <laughs> just because it was a busy day but also that was a lot <laughs> that was a lot when i think about it i'm still 10 days post-surgery and like I said to you, halfway through the day, I started swelling up, which is so hard because obviously the dress that I had on, it fits me fine. And then very quickly, it doesn't fit me anymore. And I'm just like, oh my God, I was, luckily I was sat in the corner at Greek Street and I had my zip open on my dress. <laughs> oh, 
Oh dear, it's very funny isn't it? I've never really been in this situation before and I'm definitely learning a lot about my body and learning a lot about how much you can kind of push things and how important it is to be careful and I am being careful but I think it's it, it's very easy to get carried away and so I'm having quite a leisurely weekend just relaxing and well not really well, you're relaxing but spending time in the garden I'm gonna go to the garden center I want to pick up my lemon trees finally but I'm gonna take it easy I am gonna take it easy I promise <laughs> I know that some of you are like you're I can imagine you're gonna give me such a telling off <laughs> I can see it now. But no, it was lovely. But I'm gonna curl up to Lumi and I'm gonna go to bed because I'm very tired. I've done all of my skincare, which has been very nice. Drank lots of water and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I am bright eyed and bushy tailed this morning. I have just had quite a leisurely morning, actually. I kind of gave the house a bit of a refresh. I have this kind of checklist that I do when I get a chance. If I'm too busy, sadly, I don't get to. But I go around the house, obviously, like, wipe down the surfaces. I turn all of the diffusers over. We have a number of the Dalesford uh, tomato vine diffusers around the house. So I just give them a refresh and turn them over. I light candles. And then what I've also done today is I've trimmed up my bulb bowls so when we did the display we did them with slightly more far like further along mascari um so that you guys could see the like effects basically of the bulb display so i am going to be putting some new ones in that aren't quite so advanced because mine had gone over but the good thing that you can do this is like my little hack to still keep it looking lovely it doesn't have to be floral you know how i feel i'm i just like a little bit of like whatever is outside inside so i've just gone and tri trimmed all of the dead mascari off and it just leaves a lot of the shoots. Now I've um, left these a little bit too long without water, so bear in mind. So this is probably a better example. It just looks like the bulbs haven't come up yet. Still looks really lovely. You still get the really nice effect of the bulbs and everything still looks very effective, but just no flowers. So that is a little hack to make your bulbs and your bowls last a little bit longer so that they don't go over but like i said mine were just a little bit more mature um i've lit my basil leaf candles from dalesford these are their garden candles and they are natural plant wax and i've also lit my first one of these candles the um Sir Trudon little basil fragrance one because i finished my other one on here but i've trimmed up this bowl i've trimmed up the herb bowl as well and also given it a bit of a um swap around the thyme is doing wonderfully i actually might trim some off and dry it out so that we've got fresh time for our herb cupboard which people always wonder what is in these cupboards this is where we keep all of our herbs they're usually very organized but they're not currently they need a reorganize because loads of things have been purchased and not put into little jars and i just like them to look all the same but it, it takes like five minutes to do it's not a long job and it's actually quite satisfying but I had a wonderful wonderful day in London it was such a beautiful day it really was and just meeting so many people that I obviously work with and it's just nice to like catch up with like getting back to that normality of like doing meetings again and just seeing people and feeling inspired and just debriefing on things which is so interesting there was actually one point where one of our meetings crossed over so we had like they knew each other as well so we were just having like this big catch-up together and it was just it was so so nice just text Ali to let him know that actually during the um time in which Ali's been away Barkley has not had a single wee wee on the carpet in the living room now I can't say the same for the kitchen floor at night time but the carpet has been safe. So I'm very, very proud of him. And he's waiting and going outside. It's just at night time that maybe he gets a little bit confused and he's like, <laughs> I've washed my hair and I've done a fresh phase of skincare and I am feeling incredible. I'm using a new eye cream from Elizabeth Arden. Obviously I met with the girls on Friday and they gave me their new Provage eye cream. And it's got one of those metal applicators and oh my gosh, it's, I don't know whether it's like some supercharged one, but it's the coldest one I've ever used. And so every morning I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so nice. <laughs> so um, I've introduced that into my skincare routine as well. Obviously I have some bits to unbox with you as well, like my um, 
new handbag. And I also received, I haven't opened it yet, one of the girls must have opened it when I wasn't here, but I received a lovely gift from my friend Sally who owns the old flight house. I haven't even peeked at what it is yet, but basically I sent her a book not long ago that I thought she might like. Ooh. She wanted to send me something back, so I have no idea what it is. So I thought we could open it together. I feel very, very grateful to have such lovely people send me things. It really is so nice. Oh, stop it. That is too cute. Oh my goodness, it's like an antique old Daxon statue. Oh my gosh, and it's gonna go perfectly in our house. That actually looks like Porter, that is nuts. Oh, Sally, you are just the cutest. I don't even know where, where I'm, I'm gonna put it. It needs to go like pride of place. Maybe it can go like up here. <laughs> I'll see what Ali thinks when he gets home. Just a little mini Daxon up there. <laughs> I love it. Well, I've popped it up there, but I'm gonna get myself ready for the day. My mum is coming over later. I wanted to take, to take her to Soho Farmhouse, but because I can't leave the boys, because I think they need some mummy time. And also I just needed like some time at home. So I'm gonna take her to Soho Farmhouse another day and we're gonna do lunch here together today. So I've sorted out the table so it looks all nice. I'm gonna lay it all nice, get her card ready so that we can have a nice girly day here. So I'm gonna get myself ready, although I have, I've thrown away my old tong, the little 30 pound one from Amazon that was like a diva hair one and I've ordered myself a babyliss one because the clasp was catching my hair and like ripping my hair and obviously at the moment with everything my hair's been through I'm like I don't want to like break my hair so I've had to get rid of that one and I'm gonna try the babyliss one instead. I think I got like the pro one, it was like 25 pounds. Um, and it should arrive today. I just ordered it on Amazon and I'm looking forward to trying that. That is about it, I think. I'm gonna go and get some makeup on my face and get myself ready for the day. I actually checked out Nicholson's as well, which is amazing. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have to do a come shopping with me there because it is so beautiful and I feel like you maybe don't understand how beautiful it is there. So we'll do that another day, but I wore it yesterday and I didn't vlog and so I thought I would show you in this video as well, basically. But that is the plan of action for the day. I'm also gonna show you the greenhouse. I did some planting. I might do try and do a little bit more today as well. But other than that, a very, very lovely Sunday and I'm doing all of the washing and I've cleaned the entire kitchen and the house smells perfectly of spring. So I'm gonna put on a spring playlist, classical, of course, and um, get ready. Right, we are dressed. I've just popped on a simple shirt. This is actually a really cute one from Amazon, but as you can see, <laughs> my telltale sign that it's not sunny today is the fact that I have one of my Intimiss Me cashmere base layers underneath because when the sun is in at this time of year, it is cold. Yesterday, it was really, really warm, but whenever the sun went behind a cloud, it was cold. So my, my uh, cardigan was con constantly on and off when I was in the uh, greenhouse. Then we are going to head to the greenhouse, excitingly. And I've gone for really minimal makeup today. Really minimal, but I like it. So, as you can see, not very sunny today, but I've put some of my copper rings out because we have some seed babies coming up already with the irrigation, so this will all be hidden when everything starts growing. Hello, little boys. Little snuffkins running everywhere. Um, yeah, so we've got spinach and iceberg lettuce coming up on both sides. So I've popped some little copper rings out. Not yet anything from the carrots coming through, but I'm hopeful that when it starts to get a little bit warmer, um, we'll see more of those coming up. I planted up properly all of my seed boxes, uh, my herb boxes, and gave them a good water yesterday. In fact, I might give them another water today and also labelled everything properly. You can hear all the baby lambs over in the field. <laughs> so I've done this side and also this side, which is looking lovely. And then in here, he's sitting in the bush. Happy boy. In here, we have our first seedlings that have come up. So these are cucumbers. I said this year I wanted to grow a lot more cucumbers because I ate so many. Oh, it's a bumblebee. But I ate so many 
when I was growing them last year. Then we have Mange 2. So I'm doing loads of Mange 2. In each of these, there is two seeds. So I've got around about 50 Mange 2, but I might do more. I just never know how many to, because you do have to do quite a lot to get a, a, a good yield. So um, I might do like 100 if I get a chance. Um, then I've planted up some of my courgettes. So I've got my golden courgette, my black beauty courgette. Then I've got a little yellow scalloped one and a little green one as well. This one, I didn't know what it was. So um, yeah, I'm waiting to find out because it came in like a pack with loads of different seeds in for different courgettes. But I do need to find somewhere to plant just normal courgettes. In each of these, there's four little seedlings in here, so I can then transfer them out. There's two in each of these and two in each of these as well. Up in this area, we have a little bit of a lemon overload. I picked up some more lemon trees yesterday at Dalesford. They were a little bit sorry for themselves, so they gave me 10% off, um, but I bought five of them. So this is my original lemon tree from last year. This was the lemon tree that I purchased a few weeks ago. And then I got this one, this one, this one. And then these two as well. Look at that little sausage bottom there as well. So, oh, and also our grapevines have started to emerge, which is incredibly exciting. These were our gifts from Carrie's boyfriend. Um, so I'm having my vine wires strung up in here, ready to have our own wine. I think this is the, this is the red vine. And then we're just seeing the very, very first shoots on the white. Um, which is extremely, extremely exciting. This was from the Gluttonous Gardener and we are just in love with them. Obviously we'll have them potted up properly and all of these trees will be potted up properly as well. And what I'm going to get is a little brush so that when these little flowers bloom, I'm going to pollinate them myself so that I'm getting lots and lots of fruit. I learned that from my next door neighbor. I also gave her to pots of my cucumbers as well because I had 12 and I definitely didn't need 12 so in fact I have more than 12 because I put two seeds in each one so she's got four and I have 20. <laughs> so um, I gave them to her and oh I also got from the Hairy Pot Company these little wild strawberry pots as well so um, lots of watering for me to get done in here, but now that I've got the irrigation, it makes me much more appreciative of just having to water in here now. Um, it, it's much more manageable for me and makes me very happy. I'm gonna get a few little wooden plinths because we've got some wood left over from the beds, some little bits of oak. So I'm gonna use them to just stagger the heights of the lemon trees and just make it look a little bit more beautiful in here, but it just adds all round color in here and also means that I'm going to have fresh lemon juice to add to my ginger and things like that because I just, you know what I'm like guys, you know that I love fresh uh, lemon and ginger. Oh, it's a little pheasant. I'm on pheasant watch again. Oh, very important places to go and people to see. They always look like they've just so, so busy <laughs> on a little mission. And there we have the greater spotted sausage in his natural habitat. Fearsome and ferocious. Oh, oh my goodness. This has never been seen before. The greater spotted sausage with the black beauty sausage. Together, living in harmony side by side in their natural habitat. I can't believe you are witnessing this with me for the first time snuffling through the truffles to find their feast. Also, just to make you laugh, Barkley got stung on the schnoot by a bumblebee yesterday and he was very shocked. <laughs> 